Mission Control Houston, Discovery now at Mach 21.7, 250,000 feet. The ammonia spray boilers have kicked in, cooling uh, hydraulic and other systems aboard the vehicle. All looking good. Uh, crew feeling about one half of a G right now. They should feel as much as three Gs during the re-entry maneuvers. They're about 1,760 nautical miles from Edwards. Flight Dynamics Officer Bruce Hilty reporting that based on uh, vectors coming into Mission Control, Discovery is, quote, smack dab on energy. Now about 19 minutes from touchdown. Vehicle traveling at uh, Mach 21.6, altitude uh, holding in at about 240,000 feet. Around 1,500 nautical miles to the runway. Mission Control Houston approaching 18 minutes before touchdown, 18.02 to be exact, and in that time, Discovery will travel the equivalent of the distance from Houston to Los Angeles. In Mission Control, the uh, familiar Earth ground track uh, central display on the 10 by 20 situation board has given way to the uh, high speed entry flight phase uh, diagrams. The plot on the left of the screen indicates uh, the ground track of the vehicle, uh, projected versus actual. Also, uh, Meanwhile, the plot on the uh, right of the screen indicates the uh, uh, energy uh, management and uh, glide slope uh, indications here in Mission Control. There is a red line uh, down the center of that chart that is the uh, predicted. And uh, as Discovery nears and begins to show up uh, on that chart, a yellow line will be uh, projected uh, upon that to indicate the actual performance of the vehicle. Discovery now about a thousand nautical miles from Edwards. Velocity 18,000 feet per second. Shortly the uh, vehicle will be passing through uh, 200,000 feet. Our descent rate about 140 feet per second. Crew now feeling 1.12 G's, 15 and a half minutes to touchdown.
Mission Control, Houston now 13 minutes 40 seconds from touchdown. The angle of attack of uh, Discovery, 41.5 degrees. For about seven seconds, they uh, went to the maximum 43 degrees. Uh, that angle of attack now dropping slowly. Crew feeling uh, 1.50 Gs. Discovery Houston, energy, ground track, and nav are go. We've got a ready deck, Mike. Discovery, roger. Now 12 minutes from touchdown. Discovery approaching the California coast. Velocity uh, Mach 10.2, altitude about 165,000 feet, descending at a rate of 172 feet per second. Range about 368 nautical miles. Angle of attack 38 degrees. Crew still, in, still feeling one and a half Gs. We're now looking at a plot from Mission Control in Houston. The yellow line overlaying the red line indicates Discovery's uh, ground track right on the money. Also, energy management looks very good, navigation good. Everything's smooth now, about 11 minutes to touchdown. Speed break on the uh, Discovery's tail, open to uh, 81%. On NASA Select, we're now acquiring a view of Discovery via the long-range optics at Vandenberg. She's 269 nautical miles from the runway, altitude 151,000 feet, velocity Mach 7.7. .7. Discovery, take tech in. Roger, take back. Flight Dynamics Officer reports Discovery passing through Mach 7, still maintaining good energy, good ground track, good navigation, and the vehicle has been given a go to take uh, TACAN data from the ground. Range 210 nautical miles. Angle of attack 32.5 degrees. Mission Control now processing data from Goldstone. Discovery rolling left, angle of attack 28 and a half degrees. Discovery Houston, we'd like a state vector transfer to the BFS. 
Roger, State Electric Transfer to BFS. Now about eight and a half minutes to touchdown, range 145 nautical miles. Discovery passing through Mach 5, altitude 116,000 feet, descending 303 feet per second. State Vector has been transferred to Discovery's backup flight system. Air data probes have been deployed on the port wing of Discovery, standing by for the call to take air data, which will feed uh, higher fidelity uh, numbers into the uh, computational systems aboard Discovery. Currently Mach uh, 3.6, altitude 97,000 feet. Now inside 90 miles uh, from Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery banking right now as uh, these uh, roll reversals are uh, employed to burn off some of the speed. Uh. Discovery Houston, take air data to GNC. Hold on the nav. Roger, GNC all in air data. Range now 67 nautical miles. Velocity 2,600 feet per second. Altitude 83,000 feet. This ground track projected from data being received at uh, Edwards shows Discovery's approach across California toward Edwards. All vents open aboard Discovery. Velocity 2,000 feet per second. Now inside Mach 2. Altitude 74,000 feet. Descending at a rate of 160 feet per second. About 45 nautical miles out. NASA Select now showing us a view of the Discovery. This is a view acquired from the optics at Dryden. Mission Control Houston Discovery now passing under Mach 1. Expected winds at the surface coming out of 195 degrees at about 6 knots. 
Altitude 44,000 feet. 21 nautical miles from the runway. Discovery, we see you on energy approaching the hack. You look fabulous. Discovery, Roger. Discovery, take your data to now. And the viewers at uh, Edwards Air Force Base have just heard uh, the double sonic booms as Discovery passes over, approaching the heading alignment circle. Discovery, state vector transfer to the BFS. Discovery rolling left as Commander Coates brings the vehicle. To weather, light winds. Commander Coates bringing the vehicle around the heading alignment circle. Range about 12 nautical miles, velocity uh, 0.7 Mach. Altitude 21,000 feet, descending rate of 230 feet per second. All data looks good in mission control. Now about 10 nautical miles to the runway. Angle of attack 7.2 degrees. Flight Dynamics Officer reports looking good. Rolling on the final. Now processing the microwave landing system data. Altitude 12,000 feet. Discovery, on glide slope, on center line, surface wind 195 at 6. Roger. Altitude 8,900 feet, about 5.5 nautical miles to the runway. One minute to touch down. Discovery should land about 2,800 feet past the runway threshold at a speed of 185 knots. Now at 4,300 feet. Velocity 0.5 Mach, now below 1,000 feet, 20 seconds to touchdown. Gear down and locked. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery now rolling out onto final. Discovery, that's one to be proud of. We felt like we rode through the whole mission with you. Roger, Houston. Great way to start the 89 schedule, Mike. You bet. First of a lot, Frank.
Discovery Houston, no post landing deltas at this time. Press on. Roger, no post landing deltas. This is Mission Control, Houston unofficial wheel stop time, four days, 23 hours, 39 minutes, 41 seconds. Discovery, a very clean ship. The crew uh, given no changes to their post landing switch throws as they safe the vehicle and prepare for their uh, egress from Discovery in about 30 minutes or so. Copy ET doors. Copy that, Discovery. Mission Control, turbine speed uh, going down as uh, Commander Coates and uh, Pilot John Blaha are now shutting down the auxiliary power units. Their work done for the mission. Discovery Houston, you have a go for ammonia activation. Page 5 page 6. Like System B, secondary on.
Uh, 21 minutes after touchdown and the APU shutdown procedure is complete. Go for extended power up. Roger, go for extended power up. Discovery Houston, when you can get to it on the mid-deck, we'd like to go ahead and power up those experiments that were called out.
This is Miss Control Houston waiting at the bottom of the stairs to the uh, crew hatch. Our Director of Flight Crew Operations, Don Putty from Johnson Space Center, Flight Surgeon uh, Richard Jennings, Astronauts Bruce Malnick and Sam Demar. This has been Control Houston now, 33 and a half minutes since the landing of Discovery at Edwards. All proceeding smoothly as the crew goes through the uh, uh, post-landing uh, checklist to safe all the onboard vehicle systems and prepare for uh, their egress from Discovery. We have some uh, times for uh, the landing of from uh, the mission evaluation room here at Johnson Space Center. We show uh, main gear touchdown at 8.35 and 49 seconds a.m. Central Standard Time. Nose gear touchdown at 8.36 and 0 seconds Central Standard Time. And we'll stop at 8.36 and 40 seconds Central Standard Time. We have no word yet on the uh, estimated rollout distance, but we're standing by to obtain that also.
Uh, Discovery, how do you read the app? You're loud and clear, same as me. Okay, guys, loud and clear. Commander, I'm going to egress suit at this time. Roger, it's coming out suited. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, same thing. Uh, command is coming out suited at this time.
Discover Houston. Go ahead. Sam, can you get to panel 86 now? Uh, Mission okay. Control Houston, the crew of Discovery is now exiting the vehicle. The, uh, Mayor Mike Cubs, pilot John Blaha, Mission Specialist James Bajan, Mission Specialist Bob Springer, Mission Specialist Jim Blake. Okay. On the tarmac by NASA Administrator James C. Fletcher, Astronaut Office Chief Dan Brandenstein, and Flight Crew Operations Director Donald Putty. So, a uh, part of the welcoming party, NASA Associate Administrator for Space Flight, and Ron Richard Truly. Talking with Commander Mike Coates at the foot of the stairs. Discovery Houston. This is Discovery. Please take GPC 5 back to run. Mission Control uh, continues to uh, monitor some of the final switch throws and uh, configurations necessary to ready, ready discovery after this flight. The uh, closeout crew inside the vehicle, the mission crew, are uh, astronauts Bruce Melnick and Sam Gamar, and those are the voices you hear talking to Mission Control's uh, Capcom Frank Albertson.
Discover Houston. Fifty-one minutes now since the landing of Discovery at Edmonds, and we're seeing now uh, Admiral Truly and Dr. Fletcher pose for a, uh, a post-landing shot with a crew of STS-29. This will be Dr. Fletcher's last shuttle mission. He's retiring as uh, the administrator of NASA within the next few weeks. This is Mission Control, about 52 minutes, 50 seconds since the Discovery comes down at Edwards and Flight Director Lee Bricka polling the room to see if uh, a controller up here are ready for the handover to the ground teams at Edwards. The uh, ECOM system would like a little bit more time to monitor uh, the components in their area and then the handover will uh, take place between Mission Control and the ground crews at Edwards. Meanwhile, uh, we anticipate that the crew will depart Edwards for Johnson Space Center about four hours and 45 minutes after landing. That would uh, have them arriving at Ellington Field in Houston about uh, landing plus seven hours, 15 minutes, or approximately 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. The Astro Van now departing the uh, landing area. being uh, driven back to the NASA facilities at Dryden where they will undergo physicals, have a snack, uh, meet their families, get cleaned up and prepare for the uh, trip back to Houston.
This is Mission Control. Houston, 54 minutes, 30 seconds after the landing of Discovery, Flight Director Lee Briscoe has handed over control of the orbiter Discovery to the Convoy Operations Manager at Edwards. Meanwhile, here in Mission Control in Houston, the door to the control center has been opened. The uh, teams have been stood down. The teams have stood down, and we're about to get underway with the traditional hanging of the mission flag here in the control room. Tradition holds that the uh, mission control center that at the time when uh, control of the vehicle has been relinquished to the ground crews in California. The teams here are uh, relieved from duty. The celebration begins. The flight director for each shuttle mission traditionally picks a discipline or a particular flight to the control engineer or operator to uh, honor with the hang of the uh, mission plaque on the wall in mission control. The uh, two flight control rooms here in Houston at the mission control center contain uh, the mission insignia of uh, every manned space flight flown from Houston since Jimmy 4 in 1960. 